All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth in sincerity, Bahashim Rakak All right, I just wanted to bring this article out and grab two scriptures, Lord willing to be edifying. Okay, this is, um, I guess, published March 4th, 2019. Okay, it says, the retail apocalypse is heating up in 2019. Here are the major stores currently on Death Watch. Right. A lot of retail stores are closing. OK, so this is prophecy, man. It was written about this. OK, and, and it's happening. So I, I ran across this. OK, I came across this and actually it was sent to me. So um, I had to worry for that. You know, so I wanted to bring this out, Lord will, you know, be edifying just to get a, a visual on, on what is, what you know, what's happening, you know, in the, in the neighborhood, so to speak, you know, what, what's on the scene and, you know, it's prophecy. All right. This is, uh, by Brad Tuttle, retailer bankruptcies and store closures. They've supplied depressingly consistent storylines at America's malls for the past few years, right? If you look at the malls in America, man, there's a lot of bankruptcy and store closures, you know, out here, you know, they have this mall called Metro Center, man. It used to be really, you know, you know, it was a place to be, you know, when growing up, you know, but if you go there, it's dead, you know, and there's a lot of malls out here in Phoenix that are, that are just, they're not what they used to be, you know? So it says, Depressingly consistent storylines at America's malls for the past few years and just two months into 2019 It sure looks like the US retail scene will continued to be plagued by a stunning number of store closures And perhaps quite a few retailers going out of business for good Con in a single 24-hour period last week Gap JC Penney and Victoria's Secret announced they would be closing more than 300 stores combined these Announced store closures come soon after retail companies made the difficult decisions to shut down all Payless shoe source and Gymboree stores throughout the U.S. And in the middle of Sears' dramatic struggle to survive. Below are seven big retailers closing stores left and right in 2019. Some are restricting debt and refiguring business models to fight to stay alive in today's fast-moving, ultra-competitive retail world. where every store must offer a compelling alternative to Amazon in order to win over shoppers. You see, Amazon being online, you know, disconnecting from human in, uh, communication by going to the store and buying things. People are turning to Amazon on the computer. That's not good, man. You know, that stops human communication. You know, that closes the world to, to uh, you know, and makes people just be like, robots on the on the internet you know living their life through the internet through social media all right through uh buying things online you know watching movies you know tv's not even nobody even watches tv anymore it's all either netflix or or youtube or or you know some some other thing other retailers have already lost the battle are hosting liquidation sales right now and will soon disappear entirely like Toys R Us and Bonton before them. Sears finished up 2018 by filing for bankruptcy and closing roughly 140 Sears and Kmart stores. The company owns both retailers. Then the company began 2019 by announcing 80 more store closures before narrowly avoiding death in a buyout organized by hedge funder and Sears chairman Eddie Lampert. For the time, Sears is still alive, though it's a shell of what the company once was. There are around 425 Kmart and Sears stores open compared to 2005 years ago. Perhaps unsurprisingly, many Sears employees are deeply skeptical of the company or their jobs have much of a future. Sears has been around forever, man. You know, I think Sears goes back to the 40s or the 50s. I'm not even sure. This is J.C. Penney. Like Sears and other old-fashioned department stores, J.C. Penney has been struggling for years to come up with a business model that can compete in the era when consumers have turned to online shopping. See? Con. Dollar stores and fast fashion shops. News of more J.C. Penney store closures has become routine. The company closed 30 to 40 stores 
per year in 2013 and 2014 and shuttered upwards of 140 stores in 2017. As of late 2017, Credit Risk Monitor, which rates retailers according to the likelihood of them defaulting, calculated that JCPenney deserved a frisk score of one. The lowest rating means its risk of bankruptcy was 10 to 15 percent. Last week, JCPenney said it would be closing 24 stores in 2019. Wow, I used to shop tough at JCPenney. Wow, Victoria's Secret. A subpar 2018 holiday season was blamed as the big reason. Subpar 2018 holiday season. See, nobody's even celebrating the holidays anymore. Was blamed as the big reason 53 Victoria's Secret stores will close this year. But it wasn't just a bad few weeks at Victoria's Secret. The women's lingerie retailer has been declining business for months, with sales falling 14% in the second and third quarter of 2018, the Wall Street Journal reported. Victoria's Secret. Yeah, a lot of women going to be mad about that. Payless. A couple of years ago, Payless filed for bankruptcy and announced it was closing 800 stores. Wow, that's a lot. So it shouldn't come as a total surprise that the troubled retailer is completely going out of business in 2019. In February, Payless Shoe Source announced it was closing all stores around 2000. Around 2000 had still been open. And liquidation sales are happening right now all over the country. Wow. They're trying to sell everything because they're closing all stores. Jimbury is also disappearing. The children's clothing store filed for bankruptcy a couple of years ago at the company's crazy eight stores. And all 800 of its flagship Jimbury stores are closing this year. That's a lot of stores, man. That's a lot of stores. Payless is going out. Jimbury is going totally out. Man. Gap filed for bankruptcy in 2016 and late... Last fall, Gap CEO Art Peck warned it would probably be forced to close hundreds of stores that likely don't fit our vision for the future of Gap brand specialty store, whether in terms of profitability, customer experience, traffic trends. Sure enough, last week, the company said it would close 230 Gap stores in 2019 and 2020, though locations for store closures haven't been announced. What's more? Gap said its Old Navy retail brand is going to be split off and turned into its own company in the near future. Yeah, well, Gap and, Gap and Old Navy is, you know, they, they, they cater to uh, the Caucasian crowd, you know. So, who cares? Ann Taylor, Asena, the company that owns retailer brands like Ann Taylor, Loft, and Lane Bryant has been on death watch for at least a year. It is in the middle of the process that began in 2017 to close about 250 stores. Wow, they're about to close 250 stores. Ascena said it's operated about 5,000 stores in 2016, and it was down to 4,600 stores at the end of 2018. Ascena's stock price has plummeted over this time period, dropping from over $10 per share in 2016 to around $225 in, the early, in early 2019. All right, so if you want to go back and read this, it is the retail apocalypse is heating up in 2019. Here are the major stores currently on death watch. Okay, some stores are going out of totally out. All right, like uh, Payless and Jimbery. Okay, but you know, stores like uh, JCPenney, Sears, Victoria's Secret, Gap. Okay, these stores are, you know, been around forever, man. And this is prophecy. Okay, this is biblical prophecy. You know, so, you know, there's like, you know, matter of fact, yesterday, the, this last past week, and I was trying to buy some clothes to wear, but I was like, you know, where do you go? You know, you just got to go shop at Walmart, which, you know, Walmart having all types of merchandise, you know, damn near everything, man, it makes you, you know, makes me believe is a little bit more sinister than that. We know these Walmarts are martial law camps, man. You know? So basically, Walmarts, uh, you know, really putting all these stores out of business because they, they, they have everything, man. But nevertheless, all this is prophecy, man. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, okay, and, and the keepers of the house is talking about the elite, all right? They're trembling because what? They see these prophecies coming to pass, man. They see that 
the Lord has it to where these these companies are falling bankruptcy that they cannot uh, uh, you know compete with online shopping with Walmart you know and, and, and different things of that that nature man they're starting to tremble because they see their their economy you know their 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 military you know got all these countries you know basically brandishing missiles you know at America you know they're starting to tremble man they're starting to see that, that that what's prophesied in the Bible that Babylon, okay, which is America, it, it ain't gonna be great again. It's gonna be actually desolate. All right, it's gonna be flattened in, in that third uh, nuclear war. But before that, we know there's coming a martial law. The keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves. Okay, Salaki. Let me go back real quick. Right, men sh the men shall bow themselves, man. You see, these devils, man, they're really getting shook, man. They see this truth is coming out. You know, it's all over uh, CNN. It's on uh, Infowars now. All right, it's, it's done lit a fire on YouTube. All right, so, you know, the, these men, are, they, they're starting to bow down. They're starting to see. They're starting to tremble. All right, the scriptures say great fear fell upon them when they saw them rise up on their feet. In the book of Revelation, they see, you know, the, the so-called children of the Most High, the so-called black Latinos and the Native Americans rising up on their feet and prophesying this word. And strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. Right. Workers. What did it say in the article, man? What was that? Let's see. What did it say in, in the article that said that they were uh, were skeptical about their future? Let's see. Where did it say that? Hmm. <clears throat> One of these. Had said that. Here it is. Perhaps unsurprisingly, many Sears employees are deeply skeptical about uh, that the company of their that the company have much of a future or their jobs. You see, grinders cease because they are few. The gr right there's going to be few grinders because there's no damn work. That's what that's talking about. There's no work. It says, it says, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. You know, when you see a, um, a company go out of a business, you see it's all dark inside. You can't look in or you can't look out. You know, you, you go up to the window and you put your hand on the window. You try to look and see like, oh, what happened? That place is out of business. You know, there's, there's many a times now out here. Where I went to certain places and it's out of business. A lot of a lot of shops, a lot of stores is closing. A lot of retail, a lot of clothes is closing, man. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. Right, the doors are locked. The doors are locked, man. You cannot go to shopping malls anymore, to little strip malls or whatever the case. You know, a lot of shopping mall, a lot of malls, they have a lot of of gates that are closed. All right, out here we have malls. All right. The doors are shut, man, in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And, and you know, you, you don't hear too much work coming from these places. There's not no hustle of of shoppers. And, you know, it, it, you know, it's business ain't booming at these malls and at a lot of stores anymore. man. They got empty lots, you know, and they're leasing them. You know, it says you know, it has a phone number and it says uh, lease for lease okay so if you want to go into that business and and and, and turn into you want to go into that establishment and turn into a business you got to call that number all right and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low and that's another thing the daughters of music shall be brought low that's another thing the music ain't the same anymore man they don't use instruments anymore you know they don't use live bands you know you know, I hear concerts ain't the same. You know, these these artists go up there, all right, and uh, the people who are singing or rapping, whatever, you know, who are opening up for them, they got a better show than the main 
attraction. The main attraction will go out there, uh, sing one or two songs and, and be half fast and then be out. You know, a lot of guys don't even show up to concerts, man. And the music is all satanic, you know, it's all satanic, man. Well, I was watching this one video of Trippy Red. It just came out on my YouTube, man. Uh, and, uh, it, man, it was a straight, he, he's straight singing on a satanic star. He's straight on, he's straight in the middle of a satanic star. Something, something dead or something die. I forget the name of the song. One of the newest songs by Trippy Red. If you YouTube it, you'll see it, man. Straight wickedness, man. You know, so the daughters of music uh, are being brought low. Okay. And the doors are shut in the streets, man. You know, these are old companies, man. JC Painting and Sears, they've been around for, for a long time. You know, and people going to be out of work soon. You know, people already don't want to go to work. Even Issachar don't want to go to work, man. You know, there's a problem when Issachar don't want to go to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I hope this was edifying. This was just a little something that I was sent to me and, you know, through the spirit of, you know, I thought to do a little video on it. Lord, when it was edifying, I want to say, Brakte Hawa, Brakte Awashai, Brakte Hawa, Brakte Awashai, Brakte Hawa, Brakte Awashai, Shalom.